HMS Orpheus was a British modified lower stopper class fifth-rate frigate, ordered on 25 December 1770 as one of five fifth-rate frigates of 32 guns each contained in the emergency frigate building program inaugurated when the likelihood of war with Spain arose over the ownership of the Falkland Islands. Sir Thomas Slade's design for the lower stopper was approved but was revised to produce a more rounded midships section. The amended design was approved on 3 January 1771 by Edward Hawke's outgoing Admiralty Board. Just before it was replaced, the contract to build the Orpheus was awarded to John Barnard at Harwich, the keel being laid in May 1771, and the frigate was launched 7 May 1773, at a cost of £12,654.16, 11d. She sailed from Harwich on 24 May for Sheerness Dockyard, where she was completed and fitted out to the Navy Board's needs by the 11th of June. Orpheus measured 130 feet 0 in on the gun deck and 108 feet 2.5 in on the keel, with a breadth of 35 feet 1 in and a depth in hold of 12 feet 6 in, a total of 708 and 40 94 tons bm. She mounted 26 12-pounder guns on the upper deck, four 6-pounder guns on the quarter deck, and two 6-pounder guns on the forecastle. She also carried 12 small swivel guns. She was established with a complement of 220 men. She served in the American Revolutionary War, enforcing the blockade of the Delaware Bay, and at the Battle of Turtle Gut Inlay, near Cape May, New Jersey. She was burnt to avoid capture on 5 August 1778 in Narragansett Bay during the Battle of Rhode Island. Service History Orpheus was first commissioned in early 1773 under Captain John McBride. On completion, she first took part in the Spithead Review on the 22nd of June 1773, and was then sent cruising in the Channel. She was paid off into ordinary in August 1774. A year later she was recommissioned in July 1775 under Captain Charles Hudson, was fitted at Plymouth between August and the end of September 1775, and sailed for North America on 30 September 1775. On the afternoon of 28 June 1776, Kingfisher spotted the American privateer Nancy Sailor toward Cape May and began chase, followed by Orpheus. Early on the morning of 29 June 1776, Kingfisher and Orpheus resumed chase. Nancy, to evade capture of her supplies of gunpowder and arms, ran aground at Turtle Gut Inlet. She was assisted by the American ships Lexington, Reprisal, and Wasp. In the ensuing battle, Nancy was set on fire and exploded, killing the master's mate and six men on longboats from Kingfisher. The Orpheus was abandoned and burnt to avoid capture by the French at Rhode Island on 5 August 1778. Bibliography Morgan, William James, ed. Naval Documents of the American Revolution, American Theatre. May 9, 1776, July 31, 1776, 5. Washington, D.C. Naval History Division, Naval Historical Center, Department of the Navy. Riff Winfield, British Warships in the Age of Sail, 1714 to 1792, Chatham Publishing.